But um, greetings, gentle sentience. Last Outrider here with part 13, actually 12, of Who Are Adeptus Mechanicus? Are you ready to rumble? By the grace of the cult Mechanicus, the war engine of the Greater Imperium is able to fight on a million different worlds at once. The number of the Omnissiah's faithful is beyond measure, and their mastery over machines is felt throughout every aspect of mankind's armies. From the lowliest regiment to the mightiest legion of god machines, every weapon used in the armies of mankind can trace its origin to a forge world of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Only with the ascent of the Omnissia do the tank squadrons of the Astra Militarum rumble to the front line by the billion. The armadas of the Imperial Navy transport crusading armies to the furthest stars and the strike forces of the Adepta Astarde bring doom from thunderous skies. Even the Emperor himself clings to life through the toil of the Adeptus Mechanicus, for the tech priests alone can claim to comprehend the secrets of the Golden Throne. Aware of their vital place within the Imperium, the priests of the cult Mechanicus give themselves leave to wield the most devastating of weapons, to delve into the most esoteric of mysteries, and to commit the most atrocious of acts in the name of the machine god. More than a vital organ of humanity's galactic empire, the cult Mechanicus is an autonomous creed older than the Imperium itself. During the eons, when Mars was estranged from Terra by unnatural tempests, the technocrats of the Red Planet took their fascination with matters mechanical to the level of worship, then religion. Despite the ravages of ten war-torn millennia, their abiding belief in the almighty machine god, the motive force, and the omnissiah still thrives. It is this faith that empowers their armies, infusing them with a religious energy that crackles from warrior and war machine alike. The cult Mechanicus is so secretive that few understand their ways, their rights, and traditions are powerful indeed. The tech priests that orchestrate military ventures command hosts of battle servitors, congregations of electro priests, and endless machines of destruction, including the fabled Legio Cybernetica. It is within their power to unleash the most arcane military bodies in the Imperium, potent ancestral allies and vassal organizations no less fearsome. Each forge world commands its own Skitari legion, 
a force of holy warriors, powerful enough to conquer planets. Whilst the magnificent firepower of the Centurio Ordinatus and the Ordo Reductor can lay waste to any war engine or fortification yet encountered. The mightiest of all the cult mechanicus assets are the famous titans of Collegia Titanica, war goliaths who stride from the mists of imperial legend. <laughs> so this goes more to what I'm saying. The bulk, and they even say it here, right in the opening sentence. Uh, where is it? The bulk, the war engine of the greater imperium. Greater imperium. Which goes to what I'm saying. The imperium that you know and love. Humans, imperial guard, adeptus, astarte. They're just a a small fragment, a small fraction of the Imperium. The truth is, the cult Mechanicus makes up the vast majority of the Imperium of Man. Which is an interesting thing. So that means that if we have an apocalypse, if we have all of that destroyed, if the emperor and all of humanity as you understand it and the space marines are utterly wiped out from the galaxy, the cult mechanicus would still march on because the cult mechanicus does not require the emperor. I'll say it again like I've said it in my other videos. The machine god is separate from the emperor. The emperor is the omnissiah, the first priest of the machine god. So even if he's dead, the cult mechanicus doesn't care. The machine god is still there. They will still march on. And so far, they're saying that these guys can destroy any other power in the galaxy. Orcs, Chaos, obviously then Eldar and Tau, you name it, they're dead. That's how they're building this. Fascinating stuff. I love it. So, so what are we going to talk about next? Next we're going to talk about the blessed priests of the Omnissiah. In part 13. Until then! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>